Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day I am finally sharing all of my bridal fragrance recommendations. And I love wedding so much, I got excited, so I pulled out some wedding guest recommendations as well. So even if you are not a bride-to-be, if you plan on attending a wedding sometime soon, there will be something for you in today's video. But first and foremost, a huge heartfelt congratulations to anyone out there who is in the midst of planning a wedding enjoy it this is such a special time in your life and i know it can be incredibly stressful in fact i can't even imagine what it would be like now in the middle of a pandemic with all of the complications i know there were so many weddings postponed and delayed and just canceled last year and it seems like things are going to be picking up again this year I know we have a pretty packed schedule this fall for weddings. I'm going to be a bridesmaid for one of them. I'm so excited. Weddings are just so magical. To narrow down the perfect wedding day fragrance, I would begin by thinking about your bridal style. Some things you could take into consideration would be the dress, of course, if you've already picked it out, the wedding venue, the season, time of year you're getting married, kind of the overall mood and vibe you're looking to create. If you're more of a bohemian style bride, I think you could do something really unique, like a niche perfume. But if you're holding more of a classic black tie wedding, I think that's the perfect setting for a nice designer fragrance. If you're getting married on the beach, you could do something a little bit casual or tropical. It's totally up to you. You are the star of the show after all. This is your day. But you kind of want to think about the big picture. Now, if you are completely lost, a suggestion I would make would be to check out Twisted Lily because they brought out a couple of these curated sample sets for different bridal styles. They have Rustic Charm, City Chic, Tropical Escape, and Modern Romantic, which is this one. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you. They retail between $23 and $28. The set comes in this cute little cardboard box and you just open it up and inside you have several different samples to choose from. I believe they all have five different samples and you can discover all of these new fragrances and you never know, one of these could be the perfect wedding day fragrance for you. You also get this stack of cards. So the first card has a really pretty image, kind of speaks to the theme of the box. On the back it says, let's get started. Get to know your scent preferences. Spray it, rate it, wear it. Do you love it? You get these other cards where you can take notes on each fragrance. So as you go through each sample, you can kind of write down what kind of occasion you think it speaks to, the scent style, season, first impression, finishing impression, longevity. I think that's really important. It would also make a really great gift, especially for the bridal shower to give to the bride. That way she has plenty of time to go through, discover all of the new perfumes and maybe pick out her wedding day scent. I'm not gonna take you through all of these samples and tell you what I think because I have so many incredible fragrance recommendations to get to, but just so you know what comes in the Modern Romantic set, this is a little sample of Ormond Jane London Amber Royal. I think I've heard of that perfume. This is Remarkable People from Etat Libre d'Orange, Amouage Honor Woman, French Leather from Memo, and Creed Love in White, which is one of my favorite fragrances and it's also one of my recommendations today. So this is a great little set. We're starting today with an unboxing because of course when I was putting together my list and pulling my fragrances, I had to go to the mall and sniff around a little bit because I wanted to be sure that there wasn't something else out there that would be perfect that I was missing. And sure enough, I found something. This is the box. It's been sitting in the corner waiting for this video. I'm excited now that I can finally wear it myself. It is from Guerlain. I don't know if you can find this at all Guerlain counters. I think this is one of their special fragrances. But when I was asking the sales associates who were helping me out, I typically go to the lady at the Dior counter. I was asking what fragrances would be perfect for brides, for weddings. This was one of the first fragrances they pointed out. And the first time I smelled it, I was just blown away. So this is new for me, but this is not a new perfume. It's actually a classic. So this is the bottle. It probably looks familiar if you're familiar with this fragrance. It's Angelique Noir. I think this is an incredible perfume. 
And it would be an amazing for brides, but it is not just a bridal fragrance. I don't think it you could put it into one box. I think this works really nicely for evenings, date nights, special occasions. But if you are having a very intimate, romantic, very elegant, maybe a black tie wedding, especially in the fall winter months, Angelique Noir would be the perfect wedding day fragrance. It is just incredible. According to Fragrantica, Angelique Noir by Guerlain is an amber floral fragrance for men and women launched in 2005. Top notes are angelica, pear, and pink pepper. Middle notes are jasmine and caraway. Base notes are angelica, vanilla, and cedar. When I look at the bottle, I think it looks very clean, kind of understated elegance, but it's not very bridal, and I do think your wedding day is probably that one occasion where you might want to take the bottle into consideration, especially if you're planning on taking a lot of photos. I know I took a lot of photos with my perfume bottle, you know, all of those little detail shots. But if you're having an evening, romantic, fall, winter wedding, regardless of what you might think about this bottle, you have to try this fragrance. Now, if you're having maybe a spring, summer, daytime wedding, there's probably something else on this list that would suit the occasion a bit better. This is the first spray out of this bottle. It has been weeks since I purchased. I'm excited. Mm. It's heavenly. Just smooth, elegant, incredibly warm and sensual, very feminine. I know the description said for men or women. I think this leans incredibly feminine. It's not too heavy, but I tried it on my arm when I was in store and one of the things that the lady said to me was that this is a power fragrance. So it is going to last, it has projection, longevity, the performance is amazing. Something else you want to take into consideration when choosing your fragrance because the day is so hectic, it flies by. It's sad how fast your wedding day goes because you want it to last forever, but you don't want to really be worrying about your fragrance. You want to make sure that you wear something, that you spray it on when you're getting ready, and then you don't have to think about it. It's just kind of effortless. You know you smell incredible throughout the rest of the night. Even when you're sweating and dancing and you know, surrounded by people, you're probably getting a little bit sweaty by the end of the night, you still want to smell really good. You need a fragrance that is going to perform and Angelique Noir is that fragrance. Now, along with being very stressful, weddings are also incredibly expensive, as I'm sure you know. And while I do think your wedding day is probably the one perfect occasion to splurge and invest in a luxury fragrance, something to mark the occasion that you will remember for the rest of your life, I realize that not everybody has the same budget and when you're getting down to the details and the nitty gritty, you might not want to spend hundreds of dollars on a fragrance. So Angelique Noir retails for $260. If that is beyond your bridal budget, an option, a great alternative, would be Mon Guerlain Intense. This is closer to $115, I believe. It might be $150 for this large bottle. And this was the only size they carried at Nordstrom but they probably have other sizes now. This is a 3.3 fluid ounce, another incredible fragrance from Guerlain. This is one of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection. I also think this would be a really nice wedding guest fragrance if you're not the bride. It's warm, spicy, a little bit sweet. It is very sophisticated. It's one of my husband's favorite fragrances on me. I think it is a very sensual fragrance, perfect for a date night, a special occasion. It's a head turner for sure, but I don't think you would steal attention from the bride if you did want to wear this to a wedding. But I also think if you're a bride on a budget and you don't want to spend any more than $150, $160, just an incredible option, and no one will know that this was a more affordable perfume. Mongerlan Intense smells very similar to Angelique Noir. It has that wow factor. I think this next recommendation might be the quintessential bridal fragrance. This is Belle de Jour from Christian Dior. This is part of their Privé line, so it's a little bit harder to find. Although I purchased mine at Saks. I don't think they carry it on the Saks website, but they do in select Saks stores. 
It is incredible. It is worth seeking out. I remember when I first discovered this entire line of fragrances and I was smelling them all and I was torn between two, Feve Delicieux and Belle de Jour. And this one was my personal favorite. I think my husband was leaning towards the other. Funny enough, the first fragrance from the line I ended up purchasing was Amber Nuit, neither of them. But I have always loved Belle de Jour. This just stood out to me as being the most incredible floral fragrance. I think it is very bridal. Now this is going to be better suited for a spring summer bride. Could be year round because I think it is just so wedding forward. I think you could wear this anytime. It's just so bridal. However, I do think because it is lighter, it's a bit fresh, floral, a bit fruity and sweet. I do think this is going to be better for the hot months. According to the description on Dior.com, Belle de Jour is a fruity floral with the olfactory image of a pear dessert with a rose accord and musky notes. There's not a lot of information about the notes online, so there's a hint of mystery there. When it is your wedding, when it is your day, you can wear whatever you want. All of the rules go out the window. Oh, it is so nice incredibly feminine mm. it's a bit softer kind of demure very angelic i love the name belle du jour Ugh, perfect for a bride and i think the bottle looks really nice something like this would just look so sophisticated in photos it's incredible I picture this perfume on more of a traditional bride. I think if you love fruity florals, but you're looking for something really incredible, luxurious, a bit unique for your wedding day, Belle du Jour would be perfect for you. For the classic spring summer bride who loves clean florals, I think Penhaligon's The Favorite would be the perfect choice. This is one of the most beautiful bottles on the list. I think this is so elegant, incredibly feminine, and just the most beautiful bouquet of a perfume. It's not overly complex or complicated, but I think there is an elegance in the simplicity of this fragrance that would work beautifully for a bride. It launched in 2020, so it's still relatively new. Top notes are violet, mandarin orange, and freesia. Middle notes are mimosa, iris, and jasmine sandback. Base notes are musk, ambroxan, and sandalwood. It's not crispy or citrusy fresh, but there is definitely a cool, fresh note in there. And almost a hint of dill, but fresh dill, like herbs and flowers all together. This to me smells like a fresh bouquet of flowers. I think this would be incredible on your wedding day. I think the favorite would not only be great for a spring summer wedding, but would also be perfectly appropriate for a daytime wedding, like a lunchtime wedding. If you were getting married earlier in the day and then you had your reception later on in the evening, this could be your ceremony perfume, but then you could maybe layer something else a bit spicier or a bit more sensual on top of this for later on in the evening. My next recommendation is for the uber luxury bride who is sparing no expense. She's a bit extra and she just doesn't even care. She's not even looking at price tags. She just wants the best of the best on her wedding day. This is from Roja. It's Elixir Parfum. I always say Elixir reminds me of a princess perfume because it's just a little bit sweet, dainty, but it's very special and it could be an everyday special occasion type of fragrance well the parfum version of elixir just kicks it up a notch it takes it to the next level this is like the ultimate fairy tale storybook princess type of wedding in a bottle launched in 2019 it's another new perfume with a top note of bergamot middle notes are raspberry rose de may peach ylang ylang violet geranium jasmine lily of the valley and heliotrope base notes are musk cashmere wood vanilla orris Ambre, cedar, violet leaf, sandalwood, and cinnamon. This is definitely one of the most beautiful fragrance bottles in my entire collection. You can see the rhinestones on top. This would definitely suit a bride that likes a little bling, but it's not too much. You do have the rhinestones. It looks very glam, 
but I think it's still very luxurious. It's not cheap or tacky looking whatsoever. And the fragrance itself is incredible. This is the type of bottle that would look beautiful in your bridal photos, your wedding photos. I'm not even getting married and I wanna plan a photo shoot for this perfume. It's just very special. The elixir bottle is a bit more over the top. <sighs> so good. Ooh, I love this perfume so much. It's everything I loved about the original elixir, but it's even more intense. Which I think is perfect for your wedding day. Again, you want a fragrance that is going to perform, that is really going to project, and you know you smell really good and it will last hours. So why not splurge? If you're gonna splurge, go for the parfum. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity, a little bit floral. It is just ultra feminine and fancy. It just smells luxurious. Next on my list is Delina Exclusive from Parfum de Marly. And I was a little bit torn because a couple years ago, back when I worked at Nordstrom, the number one recommendation I would always make to brides who were coming in looking for their wedding day fragrance was Delina, the original. And I love that fragrance. I think it is so tough to beat. But now, if I were thinking about the perfect wedding day fragrance, I think Delina Exclusive would be the best interpretation of Delina because it's just a hint more powdery, just a touch more serious and elegant, unlike the original Delina, which is a bit fruitier, a bit jammier and spicy. So I think Delina Exclusive would be perfect for your wedding day. I love this bottle, just so bridal, so special. This looks like a special occasion fragrance. And I think Delina Exclusive would be really nice for a very modern bride, somebody who is very chic and stylish, she wants something that is really timeless, not too trendy, but she wants to stand out. That's what Delina Exclusive is. Top notes are pear, bergamot, and lychee. Middle notes are Turkish rose, oud, and incense. Base notes are vanilla, amber, and woody notes. <sighs> so nice. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity, so floral. Definitely pick up on the lychee and the pear and the rose. Mmm, it's creamy. It's just a touch powdery, but I think it is so beautiful. When I first tried the exclusive and I compared it to the original Delina, I preferred the original. In fact, at one point, I don't think I really even liked the exclusive that much, but now I prefer the exclusive over the original. Our preferences and styles can change over time, but I think Delina Exclusive is the most bridal out of the entire range. It's elevated, it just smells special because it smells unlike anything else that you will smell. It's really one of those standout fragrances. When you walk into a department store and you're smelling the fragrance ball and you're kind of making your way down, when somebody shows you Delina or Delina Exclusive, doesn't matter how many fragrances you've smelled previously, you have that wow moment. Like, oh my goodness, this is what I wanna smell like. This is what I love. Here's another fragrance that I would put in the same category as Angelique Noir, where it's a bit warm and sensual. Probably best for weddings in the fall, winter months, but of course, could be worn anytime you want to wear the fragrance. This is Gentle Fluidity Gold from Maison Francis Kurgian. Just one of the most elegant but effortless fragrances that I own. I love this perfume so much. It's more of a sweet gourmand. It's definitely sensual, and I think this would be perfect for an intimate, romantic wedding. Key notes include juniper berry, nutmeg, coriander, musk, ambery woods, and vanilla. I really don't think I ever pick up on the juniper. In Gentle Fluidity Silver, absolutely, it kind of hits you in the face, but not really in the gold. Maybe a little bit, but I really just get the amber, vanilla, nutmeg. It smells like baked goods. 
just a delicious gourmand fragrance. Mmm. And I love the way it wears on the skin. I've actually been wearing this as my bedtime perfume for the past probably two weeks. So just now when I smelled it, I just thought, oh, it's bedtime. <laughs> but I just love it so much because it relaxes me. It smells so peaceful. I feel like I just melt. I melt like a stick of butter about to be whisked into cinnamon cookies and put in the oven whenever I smell this fragrance. I always think about a really chic, very fancy Parisian bakery or cafe. Like I said, no particular order. We're going back to spring, summer brides, but this could also be great for a destination wedding, somewhere tropical or a hot climate. This is Love in White for Summer by Creed. I also really like the original Love in White. Both are very beautiful bridal fragrances. There's something very traditional but also just symbolic very meaningful about wearing white on your wedding day when you're dressed up and you have all of the flowers and the decorations when you're in the zone and it is the day of your wedding i think spraying love in white or love in white for summer would just capture the moment so perfectly i think this just puts you in the mood to get married you spritz this on and you're ready to get married. I love Love in White for Summer because it instantly makes me think of a very luxurious vacation. So again, great for a destination wedding. Could be worn fall winter if you just really loved the fragrance and you wanted a floral fragrance on your wedding day. We got married in December, December 8th, but we got married in Winter Park, Florida. So it was really nice weather actually it was kind of the perfect day it rained it poured the following day i wasn't watching the weather because i was too stressed out and my parents didn't tell me about the weather nobody was giving me updates because they didn't want to freak me out but my mom told me the next day that she had been eyeing the weather for days before my wedding because she knew there was a front coming in and we got so lucky we even had sunshine and golden hour and we just had the most beautiful day on the wedding the next morning pea soup terrible weather so we really got lucky but i think it depends on where you're getting married even if you get married in december if you're in florida like i was love and white for summer would be a perfect fragrance it has top notes of magnolia, calabrian bergamot, and bulgarian rose middle notes are rice tuscan iris and virginian cedar Base notes are apple, ambergris, sandalwood, and jasmine. I can just see the sun starting to set. It's not quite evening. I wouldn't say this is an evening fragrance. Could also be a daytime wedding, afternoon wedding, morning wedding. But there's something very serene, very tranquil about it. I think this would be just kind of the perfect perfume to get you in that mindset, to calm your nerves bring you a little peace of mind. It's a little bit sweet. There's a little bit of a sparkling quality to it. It's so lovely. It's just such a pretty fragrance. I think this would be so perfect for your wedding day. Here's another more affordable option for brides who are on a budget. If you're not looking to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on your fragrance, Gabrielle from Chanel. Orange Blossom is one of the four main flowers in the heart of this fragrance, and the Orange Blossom is the traditional flower for brides. So I think that is a really beautiful tie-in. Annie Jaffrey, who's one of my favorite YouTubers, fashion beauty bloggers, she wore Gabrielle on her wedding day, which was pretty recent. I think she layered two fragrances. I watched her makeup video where she showed how she did her makeup on her wedding day, and she mentioned her perfume. I don't remember the first one. Actually, I think it was maybe like a Sol de Janeiro or something really inexpensive. Maybe it was an Estee Lauder. There was some sort of lotion or something that she sprayed first, but then she said she topped it off with Gabrielle Chanel, and I thought, oh, that is so perfect. Just a beautiful wedding day fragrance because it's a little bit brighter, a little bit citrusy, but still very clean floral. So it is timeless very classic and i do think chanel is a great fragrance option whenever you're shopping around for fragrances 
The top notes are grapefruit, mandarin, orange, and black currant. Middle notes are orange blossom, jasmine, ylang-ylang, tuberose, lily of the valley, pear, and pink pepper. Base notes are musk, sandalwood, cashmere, and orris. If you don't like the original Gabrielle, I also think the Gabrielle Essence would be really nice. They heightened the tuberose, so it gives it a bit of creaminess that you don't really get from the original. I really like them both. Oh, Gabrielle is such a pretty fragrance. I think this could be the perfect everyday fragrance. Would also make a really beautiful wedding guest perfume. Since we're talking about Chanel, I might as well introduce my wedding day fragrance, which was Gardenia by Chanel. This was the exact bottle. I have the Parfum. I always say it, and at some point I am planning on purchasing the Eau de Parfum, which is the larger bottle with the spray, because I don't really use this fragrance because it's my wedding day perfume. I kind of want to keep it and savor it. I know that might sound incredibly wasteful and ridiculous. I could always hold on to the bottle, even if I did end up finishing it, but there's something to me that is just very special to me. I don't want to touch it. I know. I love this perfume so much. I love the perfume. I love the Eau de Parfum. It's just an incredible fragrance, and I knew that I wanted something from Chanel. I think when we got engaged, I was working at the Chanel counter. I was the counter manager in Nashville, and we had gone to a fragrance training, and it was the first time I was able to smell all of the exclusive fragrances. And when I smelled Gardenia, I just thought, wow, that is the one. It is so bridal. This is just the ideal wedding day fragrance, in my opinion, because it is very simple. It's not overly complex. It's definitely not trendy. It just smells like a bride, in my opinion. If you have not had the pleasure to smell this fragrance in person, it smells like a fresh bouquet of gardenias. That's all I smell. It's a little bit crispy and green, but not bitter, but it really just smells like fresh flowers similar to the favorite but the favorite smells like a bouquet of wildflowers you can tell there's a lot going on whereas gardenia just sort of smells like gardenia and that's about it and i i love that i think there is such a beauty to the simplicity of the fragrance it's pretty one-dimensional but it just smells timeless and i just I love that this is my wedding day fragrance. I think I made the perfect choice. I've had zero regrets. And it's nice having a fragrance that is special to mark the occasion because if you're like me and you probably are, if you're watching this video, you're into fragrances, you're gonna remember it. Those are details that you will remember. Some people might not, you know, some brides probably don't really care about the lipstick or the perfume, they're just getting through the day. They're probably focused on other things, but if you're a beauty lover and this is your world, you live in this fragrance world, you're going to think about your wedding day fragrance when you think back on how special the day was. It will have meaning and impact to you, the scent you chose for yourself. So I love this. I love the photos I have with this little bottle in my hand. <laughs> just beautiful and I remember dabbing this on and applying the fragrance as I was getting ready to go down of course I was running late I think all brides probably are I was rushed but I remember because we had the photographer and my maid of honor was there my mom everyone who was helping me to get ready everybody left they went down to get ready for the ceremony and I had a couple moments by myself up in the room and I wrote a letter to my dad and I wrote a letter to my husband and I just had a few moments to just kind of look in the mirror and take a few deep breaths and I'll never forget applying this fragrance in that moment. It was like, okay, we took the photos but now I actually need to apply the fragrance and smelling it in my hands and dabbing it on, you know, just put me in the mood like, yes, this is my wedding day fragrance. This is my wedding day. I'm a bride. I'm about to get married. It's such an exciting moment. And this is just a little piece of that moment. It's really special. I have a handful of other fragrances here and I'm going to go through the rest of these pretty quickly because I'm not sure how long this video is going to end up being. These are fragrances that I think are sort of interchangeable. I think they would be incredible as a bridal fragrance. I also think they're just 
wedding day fragrances. If you were a wedding guest, you could also wear these perfumes. The first one is Roses Vani. I love this perfume. It's a little bit sweet. It truly does smell like roses and vanilla, in my opinion. It's soft and so feminine. And it has a sensuality to it. I just love this fragrance so much. One of my favorite vanilla fragrances, and I happen to really like rose, so I love the fact that it has just a touch of rose in there. I think this would really be amazing as well. It is a niche fragrance, but it doesn't have the extreme price point as some of the others on this list. So I would say this falls closer to the more affordable side. Of course, everything is relative. You can get a bottle of this for closer to $100 or less from other retailers. I think from department stores, places like that, it retails for around $180. So not terrible, not as bad as some of these other ones. Next, I have Valentino Voce Viva. I think if you're a bride on a budget, this is such a classic feminine fragrance. I think it would be beautiful for a wedding day. It does sit a little bit closer to the skin. It's meant to be more of a skin scent. So maybe you'll like that, maybe not. If you're looking for something that's really loud and projects, this won't be right for you, but maybe you're looking for something a bit softer, something just for you and your husband on that special day, in which case I think this would be great. I also think this would just be a beautiful wedding guest fragrance. Really lovely. And now they do have an intense version. I smelled it a couple days ago and I liked it. It's hard to try fragrances with the mask on. I didn't try it on my skin. I just sniffed it on the blotter. And I think I liked it, but it was hard to tell. Something about wearing the mask, I feel like I can't smell anything whenever I'm testing fragrances. Also, Cassiopeia. This is a recent addition to my collection. It's a new favorite. I have to stop myself from wearing this fragrance on a daily basis because I just can't get enough. I do think this would be perfect as a bridal fragrance if you were getting married spring, summer, because it's kind of light, fruity floral, has a bit of a tropical vibe to it. I do think it's as special as it is. I do think it's a bit more casual as a wedding day fragrance. Perfect as a wedding guest. In fact, for the weddings we have coming up, I will probably wear this as my fragrance. One of the weddings is in Palm Beach. I think that would be perfect. We also have a wedding booked in Asheville, North Carolina, in which case I might wear something different. But I just think it is so beautiful. It smells very effortless and luxurious and special all at the same time. Just a delicious fragrance. And I think the bottle is really beautiful. So could be bridal. Here I have, don't get me wrong baby, yes I do. This is from Etat Libre de Orange. I think this is a really nice mother of the bride fragrance. It's a bit more serious, white floral. Could be a great bridal fragrance, but I just think it would depend on the bride. I don't think this would be a safe blind buy. If you were a bride looking for a white floral fragrance, it has a maturity to it. I don't think it's old, but I do think this smells like the type of fragrance where it's very bridal because it's white floral, but it's maybe not quite special enough to be the bridal fragrance, but maybe bridal party. I also pulled out this polarizing pink beauty, Blossom Love from Amouage. This has so many rave reviews. I don't think it is a safe blind buy and I'm still teetering on the fence. I've had this for weeks now and I'm still sort of undecided. I know I don't hate it, but I'm not sure I love it with as much enthusiasm as I see other people raving about this perfume, but it, it is very special. There's something that is incredibly unique about it. I've never smelled anything quite like Blossom Love. I think if it's the type of fragrance that speaks to you, if you love cherry blossom, I think this could be a really beautiful wedding fragrance, bridal fragrance, maybe mother of the bride, because I do think there's something about this that is a bit, I don't want to say mature. I don't think it's as modern as some of the other choices on the list. I think this could be for a more mature bride, for a mother of the bride, but definitely a powerhouse fragrance for sure. 
that completes my list of bridal fragrance recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. If you are a bride-to-be, let us know what you're planning to wear on your wedding day. And if you are already married, let us know what fragrance you wore on your wedding day. I would love to read through all of your fragrances. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.